Ivan Fyodorovich Pasklich was an imperial Russian military leader. For his victories, he was made Count of Erevan in 1828 and Namestnik of the Kingdom of Poland in 1831. He attained the rank of Field Marshal in the Russian army, and later in the Prussian and Austrian armies. Biography Ivan Paskvich was born in Poltava on 19 May 1782, to a well-known family of the Ukrainian Cossack gentry. He was educated at the Imperial Institution for Pages, where his progress was rapid, and in 1800 received his commission in the Guards and was named aide-de-camp to the Tsar. His first active service was in 1805, in the Auxiliary Army sent to the assistance of Austria against France when he took part in the Battle of Austerlitz, the 2nd of December 1805, where Austrian, Russian troops were defeated by the French under Napoleon. From 1807 to 1812, Ivan Paskvich was engaged in the campaigns against Turkey, and distinguished himself by many brilliant and daring exploits being made a general officer in his 30th year. During the war with France in 1812-1814 he was present, in command of the 26th Division of Infantry, at all the most important engagements, and he won promotion to the rank of Lieutenant General. On the outbreak of Russo-Persian War in 1826 he was appointed second in command, and Succeeding in the following year to the chief command gained rapid and brilliant successes which compelled the Shah to sue for peace in February, 1828. In reward of his services he was created Count of Erevan and received a million rubles and a diamond-mounted sword. The Russo-Turkish War, 1828-1829 immediately followed and he successfully led the Eastern or Caucasus Front. For this he was made a field marshal at the age of 47. In 1830, he was engaged in the Caucasian War on the territory of present-day Dagestan. At the same time he appointed the high-ranking Muslim cleric Mir Futteraga from Iran as head of the saintly established Caucasus Committee. Paskvich hoped that by the help of Mir Fatah's high stature in the Muslim community, he could make a very valuable contribution to the Russian consolidation of power in the Caucasus. Together with Mir Fatah's high esteem among Muslims and his devised plans for the Caucasus, they managed to keep the entire Caucasus stable from rebellious Muslim insurrections for many years to come. In June 1831, after the death of Field Marshal von Dybich, commander of Russian troops in Congress Poland, Paskvich was appointed his successor in crushing the Polish uprising. His armies, following the decisive success of Dybich at the Battle of Ostrolika in May, advanced slowly. But Paskvich redeemed his reputation at the Battle of Warsaw, giving a death blow to Polish hopes of restoring independence. He was created Prince of Warsaw and awarded the office of Namestnik of the Kingdom of Poland. With the kingdom's autonomy limited by the organic statute of the Kingdom of Poland, the period under Namestnik Paskvich, known in Poland as the Paskvich Night, became infamous for political and economic repressions as well as for Russification. On the outbreak of the Hungarian Revolution of 1848 he was appointed to command the Russian troops sent to aid Austria, and finally compelled the Hungarian surrender at Vilagos. In 1854 Paskvich took command of the Army of the Danube, which was then engaging the Turks in the initial stage of the conflict which evolved into the Crimean War. Though he laid siege to Silistria, Paskvich advocated aborting the campaign due to Austria's threat to intervene in the war. On 9 June he suffered a combat injury and was compelled to return to Russia, handing command of the army to General Mikhail Dmitrievich Gorchakov. Paskvich died in Warsaw, where in 1870 a memorial was erected to him before the Konyspolsky Palace. His remains were reburied by his son in the family mausoleum on the grounds of the Homel Palace.